How's the championship going for you so far? Um, okay, I had a bad first two rounds. I just sort of get into the mix of things with the pro class and just sort of getting used to their speed. I was just way off of it. But and H2O was good. I had a good fifth place there overall. Um, I think it was a bit faster for me, which was a bit sorry, probably a bit better. But um, yeah, so I just want to get finished every round because I know there's a couple lads in the pro class have had DNFs and. Like you've always had points make prizes and just see it through. And Ravines this weekend, what's right here? A new challenge, to be fair. Uh, never ridden here. Um, Curbs taught me into it. It's uh, obviously a bit of a stretch from Guildford. So uh, looking forward to a, you know, a challenging ride. Yeah. Um, we know it's dry. We know there's a lot of routes out there. Um, just contemplating whether we change the tyres and put a softer moose in. And you've got two laps as well. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, it can be a tough one, for sure. Yeah. Fifth, fifth in the championship. So we'll see. I don't know, hope we're better one a day. I won it last year, so we'll see. I've not round, what do you think this year? Looks good to be fair, it's really dry. Probably the driest I've ever seen anywhere like this. The road down here quite a fair bit in past, but yeah, it's everything's looking good. Isn't it? Yeah, two laps, it's dry as toast, so it's gonna be um, it's gonna be marbly out there and I think it's gonna be it's gonna catch a few people out with how slippy it could be from being so loose.
No, stay, stay on the bike. Stay on the bike. It's all in your head. Seriously. Nice and steady. Back brake. And lay roll down. Honestly. Good lad. Yeah. Just lay roll, Paul. As good as you are. Go on. Easy. Well done. It's all up here. Dawson's doing quite well this year, you know, he's, uh, he's progressing nicely through the, the classes, you know, we saw him uh, in the youth class, moving up to clubman, and now expert class. Are you quite pleased with his progress oh, with the Art Enduro? Massively as a dad, yeah, proper. He's uh, he's found it a bit more difficult going from clubman to experts, massive jump, isn't it? Yeah. He's uh, obviously been used to getting on the podium, or at least in the in the mix through the classes, but now he's an expert, so. It's a proper job now, and uh, <laughs> he's having to work a lot harder at it. Yeah, he's, yeah, in fact, he just said to me this morning, "Where, where did I finish last? Last one seventh." So he's obviously he's got got intention of trying to improve on that today. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, like you say, it is a big jump, and to, to get to, to get within that top ten, the experts is uh, he's, you know his first year. It's really good, I think. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I think I think he's eighth now in the in the championship in the standings. Yeah. Um, but his first round, he was fifteenth at Tong, and I think I was a bit of a culture shock to him. You know, he's never <laughs> he's never finished out at top ten, just just because he's always been quite strong in the classes he's in. Even when he's moved up, he's been he's been strong almost sort of straight away. But uh, that's not the case this year. But he's uh, he's fighting for it. He's you know he's still enjoying his riding and he's looking to improve all the time. Good stuff. We'll have a quick word with the main man now. Then thank you, Shane. All right. So just with the man himself, Dawson. <laughs> yeah. Still riding gas, gas, really enjoying that at the moment. Yeah, I'm loving it. Yeah, it couldn't be better, really. Um, so a lot of prep this week, getting ready for this weekend. But, um, yeah, she's all good. I was been talking to your dad a few moments ago. We were talking about how you sort of gone through the classes with, you know, starting from youth, then going from youth straight to clubman. Yeah. And then now we're riding the experts three years down the line. It's uh, And this year has been a bit of a culture shock, I think, initially, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Going up to experts has definitely been the biggest jump. Um, just everything's so much more competitive. Everyone's trying to win and... So you've got to push a lot harder. You can't. There's no way you can let up and have a bit of a break. It's all everyone's trying to win, aren't they? In that class. So. Yeah. I know you've been uh, doing a bit of riding in the Isle of Man as well with uh, Tom Knight and the guys. Are uh, you enjoying that? Yeah, it's great. Went every few weeks. Go did the time card over there. It's just a lot more. Everything's there just for a bit more fun. A bit more. Everyone's there for a laugh, and but it's good. Well, trail riding over there is amazing. So. I know it's still early days, and what are you are you 18 now? 18 now, yeah. yeah. But. Uh, 
for this year, obviously you're staying with the experts. Next year, is that going to be the same plan again? As you know, we'll definitely in this championship again, obviously, because it's extremes what I enjoy. Um, we're going to try and do something abroad next year. Um, try and, I'm not sure which which one yet. We'll have a look into it and, and decide then when we've looked into it a bit more. So. And Ravines this weekend, have you uh, had a look round and you know that it's, uh, you're running two laps this year compared with yeah, the, yeah. The, the previous year's events. What do you think? You know, 60k is going to be tough. Yeah, yeah, I had a good walk round yesterday. But it's, um, it's a big track, isn't it? You struggle to walk around all of it. Um, and with it being two laps as well, it's going to be so different on that second lap with, everyone, with it all being chewed up. The lines will be so different and the hills will be different. So all the routes will come exposed, won't they, sir? It should, it should be all right. I'm looking forward to it. Those tricky off cameras with those ro them, uh, stones getting pulled out. So yeah, it can either it can be good or bad with a second lap. It can build up with a bit of a rut to go on or it might all chew away. And But we'll see how it goes. It'll be good. It'll be good. good luck today, mate. Yeah, thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.
Yeah, you're right <laughs> in it there. Get it on camera. Riding a 150 XC yeah. W, yeah? Yeah, yeah. How is it? A lovely little bike, this. It's like a girl's bike. <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing the preparation work on Facebook and you've got some trick stuff on it, like yeah, the. Well, uh, this is my old one, actually. This is a 17 one. I've just bought a brand new one. So I thought one last ride on this one before I start abusing the new one. But uh, yeah, it's a good little bike. Great. I like going slow on them. Good. Nice. Struggled a little bit in places, but managed to get through, get cracking. Yeah, it's been good. Do you know what he finishes yet? Yeah. Well, they tell me. No, we're first. Good man. First, yeah. So I'm well pleased with that. I beat Alex Owen, so um, that was my main achievement for this year to sort of like get up to that level, and I think I've managed that. Yeah, we're just now with uh, the race winner. This is Travis Teasdale. Travis. <laughs> awesome, mate. Your first win in the UK. Really tough with that one. Yeah, I know it was good. Eh? The first, in the beginning, me and Johnny were so far on the dust back, couldn't see what was happening. But lucky in South Africa, we're racing the dust, so you take one or two chances. But uh, yeah, I just kept it smooth, and then it got quite technical in the off camera and stuff, made a few passes, and then next minute I was riding with Bolton and uh, John Jono, and then yeah, I managed to just pass them both and kept the same pace going, managed to pull a gap. Yeah, the second lap, I think it was checkpoint seven where we saw you. A lot of back markers there getting in the way. Quite difficult in places with the back markers. Yeah, um, and also when they stop on the off cam, it's quite hard to pass because it's a path and then just a uh, slippery rock down all. So yeah, a bit, uh, bit dodgy. Fell off the one off cam, I had to pull my bike back up. But other than that, yeah, it was, it was quite a fun course, rough. So that's the, your first win in the UK ravines. We're now on to uh, Portugal that way in a few weeks time for Ex Extreme Lagaris. Yeah, so that's uh, where series starts now. So now this is where the racing starts for the year. The championship, all championship starts. So I'm, I'm quite excited. I'm nervous for the first round because I know it's really hard there and really slippery and uh, a lot of trials too. But uh, I'll give these next two weeks the best I can, getting the bike set up and just working on skills 
and just trying to keep smooth. That's the main thing in that race. And yeah, I hope it's going to be a, a good start to the season. Yeah, well done, mate. Thank you. Cheers, cheers, Travis. Mark, a good win for Travis. He's in the right place now, isn't he? Yeah, no, I'm really pleased with him today. I mean, he's he didn't get a particularly good start, and he's come through from mid pack and. I don't know how far in front he is, but a good couple of minutes at least. So, yeah, so we're just waiting for Will to come through now and hopefully Johnny soon after he'll have to go back and do checkpoint two again. So, we think Will's running second or it was last word? Yeah, last word he was in second and I think I've heard Bolts is out. Um, so, I don't know what's happened to him and hopefully Johnny will be third or fourth. So, yeah, good day. Well, just tell me about what's coming up. We've got the uh, the World Enduro Super Series coming up. We've got the eight rounds, haven't we? And we've got. Tell me about the team. Who's on the team? Yeah, I mean we've got we've got Travis, um, we've got Will, we've got Sam Winterburn, Charlie Frost, Joe Deakin. You know they're all doing the you know the, the West Round. So we, we've got a lot of work, Robbo. We have got a lot of work, haven't we? I've got a lot of work on. Yeah. But but yeah, we're really excited and looking forward to it. I mean it's. It's what we all work for, so um, we just hope we can get some good results and get these get these lads on the podium. Natural Mark, thank you. Yeah, this is uh, this year's at number two, William Hall, riding the Eurotech KTM. Number 80, coming in second place. Extreme Ravines 2019, let's have a quick word with him. It was quite dusty to start, I got a bad start, and then um, just sort of just just stayed where I want, picked a few people off up some banks and then yeah just kept it smooth sort of thing trying to cross but it was quite hard obviously because we had to do two laps we caught up with a with a you know the people who were doing one lap like small swim riders it was quite hard to get past them on some hills but yeah it were, it were good. It must be nice now obviously getting a bit of a contract with Eurotech helping out through the, the this coming season. Yeah definitely it helps a lot like just yeah, like you can't do it on your own, can you? You need that backing, don't you? You do need help, and obviously that that Jacko's like he's got a lot of experience, so he knows what sort of you need to be doing, and people you need to sort of speak to, and you know to help you at events and stuff like that. But yeah, it's good. Yeah, well done, mate. Thank you. Cheers. A third place gone off today. Well, by the look of it, good a good race. Uh, yeah, it was not too bad. It's just too fast for me out there. I mean, I don't know if you can hear, but I'm full of cold. I've had a massive like bit of flu this week, so I'm not making excuses or anything. But that was really fast around there. Like uh, some of those uh, climbs, like up to checkpoint seven, what used to be the final climb, that's quite a tough one, wasn't it? Yeah, it's not too bad. That they were they were the better points for me. It's like this, well, technically this bit here, yeah, but it's technical. It's all right, but when I get a bit of speed up, I think I need to go motocross or something. Because between the trees, I've smashed my fingers to bits today, but we're not injured. We're happy, and that's the main thing. So just keep. So what's good? What's from here now onwards? What are you doing? Uh, we've got Lagares in I think it's a two or three weeks. I'm going there, um, my friends are taking me there, so it should be a bit of fun and that. And then after that, the next British Championship, because I'm missing the second round of Wes, and then Erzberg, so just enjoy it. We'll catch up with them, mate. All right, thank you. Thank you. Cheers, John. <laughs> not, a good, not a good start, we saw you just at back of pack, and a log stuck in your, your back wheel. Yeah, when I went through there, yeah, a log picked up, but um, yeah, I ended up getting lost. Like, the dust was really bad, and I, I was riding with Travis, actually, and then, it was like we got into this a new bit kind of thing and I was like, oh, it's not dust anymore. So I carried on riding. Like I thought I better push and try and catch the guys. Got to the checkpoint and I didn't realize it was checkpoint three. And uh, I was like, who's in first <laughs> to the guy? And he was like, you. And I was like, I'm definitely not in first with that start, so. So where does that put you then? Is, are you, is that, because uh, you've missed a check then, obviously? Yeah, so I missed checkpoint two. So from checkpoint three, I went all the way back, found, I was riding around, found checkpoint two. And I know where it was because on the second lap there was loads of barriers up to stop you going the wrong way where I went. So went back to checkpoint two, checked in and then rode the track back and then yeah I had to push hard to, to try and catch the guys because it was like, I asked the guy, he's like, oh yeah they're a good ten minutes and I'm like, no. You made a lot of ground up there because you come in, is you coming fourth? Have yeah, you? Fourth. You have made a lot of ground so good riding skills though, to make yeah. up that distance. No, I'm happy with the way I rode, I just wouldn't, didn't want to really be fourth. but. Uh, Nah, yeah, it was good. I, it would have been nice if there was another lap. Looking at the positive, that's the sort of thing will test you, doesn't it? And yeah. it makes you push that bit harder. Yeah, I was riding around on that last lap and I was thinking, yeah, it's happened for a reason, it's good. Because, uh, you know, if you're at the front, maybe you take it that little bit easier, whereas I was like really pushing hard, so yeah. 
from a you know a local event type or a British Championship. It doesn't really matter that much. It's all about bike time and getting ready for the World Enduro Super Series. Yeah, that was my goal to do this, um, was just to get ready for the, the WES Championship, which starts in three weeks now. I've got another race next week that I'll go to Dominican just to get a little bit more bike time and a little bit of a holiday. Machete? Yeah, Machete Hard Enduro, so that's next week and then one weekend off and then the first round in Portugal. So, yeah, it should be good. I'm looking forward to it. Cheers, Johnny. Thank you. All right. If you could see your face, it's a bit of a picture at the moment with all the muck on it, but uh, how was the race? I tell you what, I mean, credit to the club. I've ridden Helmsley before and it's been all right. That was mega. It was, it was <coughs> sorry. Got your guts up. Yeah, it was a lot of um, really tight turns, but it was so dry you could just first gear it and you put a lot of switchbacks in. That is one bit. It was like taped up and it was a nice switchback and I thought that oh, was really good. Um, Parts of it was like riding a sort of a special test, a bit too fast for me, but to make the lap, I suppose it's got to do that. But I think that because it was so dry, it made it that bit faster. It was that and the dust. I mean, I came off twice because I caught up Luke Flack and I was trying to get past him, was that close, I just didn't see it and hit two routes two times. But if you, if you left the gap and it cleared, you were all right then. But I just got arm pumped straight away. Um, I thought riding Friday might have cured that, but it only lasted about 10 minutes. And I was sound then, and it was just a case of looking at the arrows, because on that last lap then, me, Joe Deacon and Alex Snow just completely missed the track because the arrow went down. But no, I'm happy by road. I think I come in, well, I thought I was seventh for eighth, but I think I'm a bit better than that. But I don't know, I just had a really good day, and uh, credit to John Cohen and their club, because I actually thought it was a really good event, so. Well done, mate. All right, yes. Yeah. You know you... I know we saw you at checkpoint seven. Yeah, checkpoint seven. That were the hardest, definitely, just because of all the tree roots and how loose it was. As soon as you spun back wheel, stuck on a route. But other than that, it were good ride. Yeah, really good ride. You, you're a sportsman today. Do you think you could have managed a second second lap if you'd have been in a higher class? Well, I doubt it. I doubt it. It were, it were a big push, like to get to end. So yeah, I definitely, definitely want to be doing another lap. I saw you at Safety Sky last year with uh, Josh, Josh Gilroy and uh, Mike Vince Taylor as well. Are you going back? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely back there. Well worth the trip, like, yeah, yeah. Need to just get booked in with your tech. Hopefully they've still got, still got a place. The places are filling fast, let me tell you. Get in there and I get in there quick. Oh, yeah, really good day, mate. Recommend it. Really good. Cheers, mate. Thank you. All right. Well, that's about it this weekend from me out to Extreme Ravines. You saw the top three coming through there. That was uh, Travis Teasdale, William Hoare and uh, Jonathan Richardson. We've got lots more coming up in the, in the year. We've got the World Enduro Super Series. We've got the round one in a few weeks' time in uh, Portugal. That's Extreme Ligares. But there's also going to be a few other things coming before then. Uh, some stuff from the Eurotech KTM workshop and also probably a report on my camper van as well if we can squeeze that in. So stay tuned. From me and everybody else here, take care for now.